Hey guys, I want to try something new on the channel today. I want to break down the massive deal sending Taylor Hall to the Arizona Coyotes yesterday. I want to get your thoughts, opinions on it, break it down and see what New Jersey actually got. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the deal, if you think I should do more of these. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, so here is the deal. Nick Merkley, Nathan Schnarr, Kevin Ball, a conditional first rounder this year, a conditional third rounder next year for Taylor Hall and Blake Spears. Now, obviously, the Arizona Coyotes are winning this deal right now, but let's take a look as to what New Jersey actually got, starting with Nick Merkley, who was a first-round draft pick way back in 2015, 30th overall. So he's 22 years old. 5'10", 179 on his ELC that is expiring this year. So New Jersey's going to have to deal with that at the end of the season, which isn't really terrible. He is a career AHLer so far. So he's had 89 games in 100, sorry, 89 points in 109 games, um, only playing one game in the AHL for the Coyotes in his career. Now he looks like he's had an injury-riddled career so far. His career high in games played is 45 for the AHL team over the last three years, so he's definitely going to get his shot in New Jersey this season, probably, if not this season, next year, but doesn't really look to be anything special for the Devils going forward, but we'll have to see. Now, next up, we've got the 20-year-old Nathan Schnarr. He's a center, six foot, 381 pounds, decent size. He's a point-per-game player in the OHL, currently playing for Tucson with nine points in 22 games back down there for their AHL squad. So his highlighting season with Guelph in 2018-2019, 65 games played, 102 points. So obviously he was prolific in juniors and not so bad. I mean, 20 years old having, you know, a point per or half a point per game in the uh, in the AHL isn't anything terrible, but again, doesn't look like he's going to be anything groundbreaking for the Devils. He was drafted in the 3rd round of 27. I'll have to wait and see on him next season so they don't have to worry about re-signing him going into next year so again just another piece depth center and um, you know that'll be something a bit of a project for them um, over the next couple seasons and then finally Kevin Ball who's probably the highlight as far as the prospects go for sure drafted in the second round of 2018 is 19 years old so he's a six foot six 216 pound defenseman that's, you know, obviously fantastic size, is on his entry-level deal, but that doesn't expire until 21-22. Now, he is going to play for Team Canada at the World Junior, so, I mean, this is going to be a stacked World Junior in Canada, so that's saying something that he will be playing for Team Canada. Now, his career high in points in the OHL for the Ottawa 67s was 34 and 68 games, but he's on pace to smash that this year. Um, he's got 20 points so far in 28 games. Now, obviously, you pan that out, and that's about 47 points this year, so that'll smash his career high last year. But obviously, his size and defensive play is what's really going to kind of separate him. It's not going to be his offense, as he is a gigantic player. So, He's definitely the highlight of this deal, and he should be an NHL defenseman, just given his pedigree. Again, the fact that he's going to be playing for the World Juniors for Team Canada is obviously a gigantic boost, and the highlight of the package for prospects that New Jersey is going to get. Um, he would be the one that's kind of going to make or break how bad this deal is going to be, or good, in the next few seasons. Now let's talk about the picks as they are both conditional. So if Arizona's 2020 first selection is in the top three, New Jersey will receive Arizona's first round pick in 2021. This is obviously not going to happen without a monumental collapse as currently Arizona is first in the division only, you know, they're tied with Edmonton only one point up on Vegas, so it is totally possible that they don't make the playoffs, but, I mean, they would have to get some insane lottery luck if they don't even make it, as they're only two points up on Calgary, who is in the last wild card spot, but after that, it's Vancouver that's in the Pacific, so they're about eight, they're, sorry, they're six points up on them as we speak today, so it would take, like I said, a monumental collapse, and with Taylor Hall, obviously their team's not going to get worse, so um, that is something to watch, but again, they're probably Probably going to be taking that first round pick this year, which means it's going to be, you know, within the 16 to 31 range, which um, nothing crazy. So their third round pick, however, the third round pick can upgrade to a second if the Coyotes win a playoff round or if Taylor Hall resigns in Arizona. 
the pick upgrades to a first if Taylor Hall resigns and the Coyotes win a playoff round. Now, that's pretty big. I mean, if they can convince Taylor Hall to resign, that'd be that'd be pretty huge. Now, the guy has literally never been on a contending team in his career, and he's probably getting to the point where he's fed up with it. So I'd be stunned if he resigns. As Arizona looks to be good in the next few years, but again, he could just re- he could sign somewhere for top dollar for for a contender, um, and we'll just have to see come free agency. I would be pretty stunned if he resigns. Um, but they could win a playoff round, especially in the weak Pacific division. So we'll see if that doesn't become a second rounder next year. So as it stands, um, Kevin Ball in a first is really the main piece of this. Now, Taylor Hall obviously wasn't going to resign with New Jersey, so you have to take that into account. They're also retaining half of their salary or half of his salary. So um, again, that's going to at least give them the ability to be under the cap. Um, New Jersey was kind of hamstrung here. You have a player who seems, or at least in the media, didn't seem to want to be there anymore and wasn't going to re-sign. You have to move him. So it depends on what other teams were offering. Now, obviously, Arizona wasn't going to give up Hayton. I'm sure that was talked about, but obviously that he they weren't going to so Kevin Ball isn't a terrible prospect by any means a first round pick is a first round pick but again it probably will be a later one and if for whatever reason he they resign and win a division or and sorry and win a playoff round so that's two first round picks if you think back to what Eric Carlson got in the in the Ottawa trade you know these big deals at the time looked terrible um, but Eric Carlson has been as a Sharks fan really disappointing for the amount of money that he's cost and you know now that San Jose has just been terrible this year. They might end up with another lottery pick as well as Norris and Tyranny and DeMello, which are obviously contributing pieces for the Ottawa Senators. Um, Nothing crazy, but down the road, these deals always tend to look a little bit better than they do at the face value of what they're going to be when it happens. Again, Taylor Hall wasn't going to resign. If he was still on his contract, then this deal would have been much bigger, but not a terrible haul. I don't think Nick Merkley will become anything. I mean, there's a reason why he's been in the AHL for three seasons, and maybe an Arizona fan in the comment section can explain why. I haven't watched him a ton, uh, but Kevin Ball, we're all going to see in the World Junior Championship for Team Canada, and Nathan Schnarr, not a terrible player by any means. He was a point-per-game player in the O uh, and his first season with the AHL right now, so we'll have to see. Let's see if the virtual GMs can get this deal done. I got a feeling they're not, but here we go. But guys, tell me what you think in the comments section down below on the Taylor Hall deal going to Arizona. I personally, I mean, as a Sharks fan, I've seen the Coyotes pretty much you know, all the time for the last, you know, 15 to 20 years. Uh, I like it when small market teams or guys go all in, make these kinds of big deals. So I'm stoked. I'm not thrilled that their first game with Taylor Hall will be against the Sharks because why not? But uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how Arizona does this year. And it is exciting for an NHL franchise that hasn't really done anything um, to go all in. So, guys, tell me what you think in the comments section down below if you think I should do more of these um, or uh, and whatnot and your opinion on the deal. Have a good one, guys.